Hi everybody, it's Kia here from Cara Bookkeeping Specialist. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So really quickly, I'm just gonna take you through the last bit of good news that we got from the Chancellor during the budget announced on March the 3rd. And this one is about grants. So you know I love grants. I'm sure you love grants as well because grants is free money. It's free cash for you and your business. And I think absolutely every single one of you should be applying for as many grants as you can and just getting as much free cash in as you possibly can specifically now but not just now like all the time ongoing make this an ongoing part of your routine that you're regularly applying for new grants and taking advantage of allowances as and when you can so there's three in particular that I want to speak to you about today but I do think it's important that you know that there are literally hundreds of grants. There are so, so many, so I can't go through all of them in one quick video. I'm not even going to try, but I am going to do a whole series on grants later on down the line, going into more detail about what is out there, what is there available for you that you can take advantage of now? How do you get them? Where do you go to get them? How much can you possibly get? And just how to make sure that you meet the eligibility criteria for them. Okay, so we're going to be going into that in a lot more detail because I think it's important for you to take as much advantage of these as you possibly can. Now, the government announced the increase for the Kickstart, the Kickstart scheme, which we know, and the apprenticeship schemes as well, which we've been aware of for a while. So they're doubling the allowance for that, which means it's going to make it cheaper for you to hire staff. Now, it may not be possible for you to right now today, but okay, I can really I can get some staff in. But if you're looking at increasing and growing your business in the future, then definitely consider those two schemes and make sure you take account of them because it might make it easier and faster for you to grow your team quickly by using one of those grants or those schemes. And also we want to support communities, support young people, get people in work as much as possible. So it's a huge, it's a multifaceted benefit there. So I really do like this scheme and I think it's gonna work for a lot of people. I will link to all of the grants I talk about today in the video um, description box somewhere around here. So just go through, check that out. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'm, you know, happy to answer as much as I possibly can. The other grant I want to talk to you about is the R&D, which there is R&D grant and there's an R&D allowance. Okay, so there's, there's two and they're actually two different things. But for the grant, it's research and development and absolutely every business should be eligible for this research and development grant. You need to check the criteria and make yourself eligible for the criteria. There's absolutely no reason for you to not get an R&D grant if you're running a brand new business or if you're developing or improving your business, you need to take advantage of this grant. It's a fantastic opportunity. Just go and get it. And the last one to talk about is the green grant. So uh, Mr. Sunak put a lot of um, a lot of things forward towards green initiatives and eco-friendly initiatives, which I, I do support. We are a big advocate of green, in it, green initiatives here at KBS. We are trying to be paperless. We're pretty much 99.99% paperless at the moment, which is fantastic. And we're always looking for ways to improve um, the impact that we have on our environment. And I encourage other businesses to do so as well. We do work with and collaborate with a lot of businesses that have similar initiatives um, as we do in terms of eco-friendliness and green um, working practices. Now, in terms of green grants, there are loads. There's so many. There's waste reduction initiatives and uh, like healthy waste production as well. So reducing waste in your business not only saves you money, but you can also get paid to recycle properly or to put in new waste management techniques for your organization or for your sector or for your whole community. So take advantage of those because that's that's free money both ways. Like you, that's the major win-win. And then in terms of other green grants as well, if you can develop something or come up with a program or a system that supports your community or your industry or other people as well, they will pay you to do that. They want the country as a whole and businesses as a whole to reduce our, our impact on the environment and to just give ourselves a much healthier planet to live in. So if you have anything that's working towards that end, you could be eligible for any of these green grants as well. So once again, check the description box for the details of those, where to go, how to apply, how to get help. And I'll do a whole series on it as well a little bit later on. I've got quite a few things that we need to talk about coming up in the next few weeks. So we'll get there eventually. But in the meantime, if you want to apply for anything and you're struggling or you need help, just get in touch with me directly. You know how to reach me and I will do my very best to help you out. Other than that, thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.